The Broadway musical Come From Away is playing at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts. Come From Away tells the story of what happened in Gander, Newfoundland, when 38 international flights were forced to land there as the September 11th attacks played out in American airspace. Joining me now are two of the cast members and one traveler who actually lived that story. We appreciate you taking time to talk to us today. Um, Nick, I want to start with you. You and a woman named Diane met in Gander. This was an unlikely romance that blossomed. How does it feel to see your story on the stage now? Um, it, it, it takes us back to those happy days when we met. So we've seen the show 152 times, and it never gets old. Uh, yeah. What? So the first time we saw it, we were a little bit nervous because we weren't too sure how the playwright and his wife had portrayed us as David and Irene. Um, but they kept it very, very true. Everything you see in the show really happened. You, when, when I found out I was going to be doing this interview, I started reading about what happened, the story behind this. G give people an idea. What was Gander like when all this went down? Well, actually, we were in a little town called Gambo, which is about half a mile outside of Gander. So we weren't in Gander. We were in a, in a small community in Gambo. We were being housed in a shelter is an SUF, Society of United Fishermen. It held about 100 people. And we we were separated from the rest of our flight because we needed medication when we got off the plane. And so Diane and I were one of about three people that were on our continental flight. Uh, but the, they, they, they emptied their kitchens. I don't think there was a stove that wasn't cooking food the night we landed. Having fed us, they found us somewhere to sleep, or in some army cots, uh, stretchers. And, uh, and then they started to entertain us. And you'll see all about this in the show. And it's true. What you see happen is really true. This is so great. Um, Christine, let's go to you now. You play Diane in the touring production. How does it feel to uh, portray this real-life person and share their story? Oh, it's been such a joy. We've been doing it for four years now. Um, and to to know Diane and Nick is to love Diane and Nick. And so what an honor and joy to get to tell their story, a little part of it anyway. Um, it's been it's been great. Now, Chambly, you play Nick, but the Nick Diane storyline is really a fraction of everything that's going on in this play. Uh, what else should the audience expect to experience? Well, I, I, I think it, if, if people uh, recall where they were on 9-11, um, uh, th this, this story feeds right into that. And um, I, I mention this oftentimes, too, that for young people who weren't alive when 9-11 happened, um, when they come and see this show, um, it, it brings history alive in a way that you can't get it in, uh, off the, the text of a, uh, of a textbook. Um, so I think that all, all audience members are going to identify uh, with what happened uh, on on that day, um, but then it's really not even so much about 9/11. Uh, it's really about what happens after 9/11. So as, as we're told to say, it's really a story about 9/12, um, and uh, and and how overnight these Canadians uh, fed and cared for and and uh, took care of uh, over 7,000 passengers for five days and five nights. Yeah, you're right. I mean, those of us who are old enough definitely remember exactly where we were, what we were doing um, on 9-11. Well, let's talk about some of the music. Uh, a lot of it, I understand, is pretty infectious. Do you have a few favorite numbers, Shambly? Well, my, my favorite number in the entire show is Bear. Um, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's basically a, a very wonderful, tender, beautiful moment where uh, four of the major religions are all kind of honored uh, in the same number. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it, it kind of, that, that one number kind of encapsulate, encapsulate, encapsulates the whole um, meaning uh, and theme of the play. Yeah, Christine. On the surface, someone might hear about a play based around 9-11. It might count, sound kind of dire at first, but when you actually get into it, how do you think audiences connect with this? You know, there is so much heart in this story, and at the core of it, it's about how people can have intentional kindness, compassion, and generosity for one another, as the people of Newfoundland did for all of the come from aways. And I think that that's what resonates when we see this additional lens through which to see the terrible events of that time in our in our history, to see 
people's better angels coming out and how we can actually choose to also extend kindness to others. I think it really just um, it strikes a, a beautiful chord in people. Um, Nick, you know, decades later, what's your relationship with the people of Newfoundland now? Um, there are family from up north. We, we've been back about nine times now. The first time was for our honeymoon in 2002. Um, there are there are wonderful, wonderful people. We love them dearly. Uh, they're so caring. Well, thank you guys so much for your time today. Th this is a story I, I never would have thought about. It makes sense, though, when you think about it, all these little stories that happened under the umbrella of 9-11. So thank you for your time today. I'm sure a lot of people cannot wait to see it. We, we appreciate you sharing some, uh, some words with us today. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Take care, everyone. Come From Away runs through October 9th at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts. We have a link to buy tickets at cbscolorado.com.